Hi guys, um, today I'm gonna show you how to use the pinch gesture recognizer and that will also um, set the limits to the maximum and the minimum scales of your images. So, um, so for example, if you want to have an image and you, when you zoom in and out, um, you want to set like the maximum and the minimum scale, um, I'll show you how to do that. So just um, select a single view application after we open up Xcode and I'm just going to say pinch gesture with scale limit uh, tutorial and I'm just going to do it on an iPhone device. Alright and then just create and um, here's our, our setup that Xcode has in the template. So go to our storyboard and, um, and add a image, add a UI image view on there. So let me find my UI image view. All right, here's our image view. Just add that on, and I'm not going to make my image that big, so I'm just going to scale it down okay, to maybe like that big. Okay, I'm just going to put it there and um, just find some image that we can put there. So let me see what I have in my desktop. All right, I'll use this image called X close and I'm just gonna drag it into my image X XC assets and then um here just go to just make sure this is click copy items into destination groups folder and this one so it's gonna add it to the pinch gesture with scale limit tutorial target. You don't need to click this one because this is only the test target. So there we just say finish and now make sure. All right, so that's the image I'm going to use. And here in our storyboard, just click on your UI image view and in the image, just set it to um, xclose.png. All right, so here's our image. And open our assistant editor so we can um, create a property for this image. And automatic and just go to view controller well we can add in view controller.m so control click and drag it in here and so we're creating a property our connection is outlet name I'm just gonna call it my image view type is UI image view storage is weak so that's our um, this property is our UI image view which is this button here all right, I'm going to close the right bar and the assistant editor so I have more room to work with. And um, so now I'm in the view controller.m. It's going to delete the did receive low memory warning because we're not going to use that. And um, let's start off with the gesture recognizer right away. So in view did load, I'm just going to just gonna start by creating a UI um, not tap gesture pinch gesture recognizer I'm just gonna call it pinch gesture recognizer equals UI pinch gesture recognizer Alec in it with target self action will be I'm gonna call it handle handle pinch all right and I'm going to start defining our handle pinch. So create a new method called handle pinch. And it's going to take a UI pinch gesture recognizer. I'm just going to call it pinch gesture. And so when it comes in, I want to I wanna do a transformation to, um, to change the scale of the image view. So um, let me jump back into the view did load method again. So here in the view did load, I'm gonna I'm gonna say self my image view 
add gesture recognizer pinch gesture recognizer so now we're adding this gesture recognizer that we created to the image view so when a pinch um, occurs like so when a pinch occurs um, it'll call this method here handle pinch which is this one all right and one more thing that we have to do we have to set the user interaction enable to yes so it says self my image view set user interaction enable yes then you can also set this on the storyboard too but um i'm kind of used to setting it um, programmatically so just set it there and then because if you don't set this um when a user interacts with your image uh it's not gonna detect it's not gonna detect the interaction and the handle pinch is not gonna get called all right, so from that, um, we're just going to say, um, we're just going to create a CGA fine transform, CGA fine trans, transform, I'm just going to call it zoom transform equals CGA fine transform make scale. And the scale for now would just be pinch gesture um, scale. Pinch gesture scale. All right. And then from there, we're just going to say um, pinch gesture view set transform to be the zoom transform. And I'm just going to run it not on my device but on my the iPhone Retina 4 inch simulator and let's see how it looks all right so I know that this for, for now is the way that you might already know how to do it but this way it you can't control the limit so if you zoom out too much the image might get like really small that you can't see it or if you zoom in too much the image will get so big that you can't really make out what the image is either. So like after I show you this, I'm going to show you how to um, set the minimum and maximum limits on these. All right. So in order to zoom on the image, you just have to click the, the um, option button and then it's going to give you those two little dots to probably denote your finger. So you click it and then you, you can, um, start zooming so that's zooming out see how when you zoom it's like all the way back there you can't really see it anymore and when you zoom in too much like that's what you see right that's that's what you see when you zoom in too much you can't even zoom get back anymore all right so now that you see that that's what happened so you I'll show you how to fix that right now so in your app you can um you can limit those those values all right so under the interface we're just going to create some instance variable i'm just going to have i'm just going to it's just going to be a cg float oops cg float i'm just going to call it image max scale cg float image min scale and one more image current scale all right, so image current scale is what we're going to use to keep track of our image scale currently. And max will just be our, our, our highest scale that we'll go to. And min will be the lowest scale that we'll go to. All right, so in view did load, I'm just going to say image current scale equals 1. Because when it comes in, I'm just going to make the scale 1. And here I'm going to set the image max scale also image max scale let's say i'll let it go to two image min scale i'm gonna let it go to 0 0.7 all right just some random numbers so we can f change that around later if you want and from there we set these and we have to modify our handle pinch so i'm just gonna comment this out because we don't because we're not going to do that anymore because this one we don't check any kind of values so i'm just gonna have an if statement to kind of check this is where we check if the image currently is is higher than our scale and lower than our scale so then if image current scale 
times pinch gesture scale. Pinch gesture is the the um, pinch gesture recognizer that's um that's being passed in from here. So it's gonna have its own scale when you come in. So when you multiply your current scale to that to that scale, and if that value is if that value is greater than image min scale. So that means the value is, is bigger than the minimum, so then that's okay. And we have to check for a second condition, that image current scale times um, pinch gesture scale again. But now we check if it's less than the image max scale, because if it's less than the max and it's greater than the min, then it's okay because it's, there will be the values in between, right? So it will be the value between um, 0 0.7 and 2.0. So if those are the case, then um, then we can go ahead and do our transform. So CG a fine transform, zoom transform equals CG a fine transform make scale. But instead of being pinch scale, it's going to be the current image current scale. Image current scale, image current scale. Actually, um, before that, we need to set our image current scale too. So we're just going to say image current scale equals image current scale times pinch gesture scale. Oops, pinch gesture scale. All right, so we're, we're setting this, this value to image current scale and we're setting we're making the CG a fine transform called zoom transform that's a CG a fine transform make scale using the image current scale that we've just set right here all right and from there we're just gonna say pinch gesture view which is our image view um, set transform so we're gonna transform that to the zoom transform and at the end of the if statement, I'm just going to say pinch gesture set scale to 1.0. So that sets uh, the scale of the pinch gesture recognizer to 1.0. That's after outside of the if statement. So let's run that. And from that, the limit should be set. So now here's our original um, image. We click um, option. And then we do zoom out, so that's as much as it zoom. It won't zoom out anymore. That's the that's the max. That's 2.0. All right, now let's test the min. All right. So that's as little as it goes. So um, let me see. Let me run it again. All right. So option there, zoom out, zoom in, zoom. That's the max, that's the min. See? See how it doesn't go any smaller even though like we pinch it all the way and like the first and like the first um the first example and now if we zoom out it doesn't go like much anymore. It only goes to the max which is two min is 0.7 like we can change this so for example if I change the scale to um to 3 the max to 3 and now we run it we're gonna see that the scale will let you do more we'll let you zoom out to a bigger scale so find our spot and then zoom see how it's well I don't know if you can tell but it's bigger than before because it was the 2 the 0 0.7 is the same that's the 3 so from there, you can limit your um, your user on how big they can zoom and how small they can zoom. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, kind of a short one, but uh, but I think it can be pretty useful to some. All right, well, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.